Hello and welcome to the GSA Federal Acquisition Service Training 2020 Conference. My name is Lillian Miller and I'm a program manager within GSA's Federal Acquisition Service Office of Information Technology category. With me today is Bart Bates, a senior IT specialist and product manager. Bart will serve as co-instructor for today's training session. Before we begin, I'd like to conduct a quick poll of the audience. If you could show by raising your hand, how many of you are federal employees? Great, and how many of you are industry partners or vendor representatives? Terrific, thank you all for your participation. The educational session offered at FAST 2020 under the Leveraging the Power of the Internet track exposes you to GSA's latest tools and technologies available to support you in each phase of the acquisition process. In this particular course, you will learn about GSA's IT Solutions Navigator tool. In addition to receiving information on how the tool can help you increase productivity and facilitate your acquisition, participants have the opportunity to collaborate with GSA acquisition or technical experts as well as view the latest products and services you need to support mission delivery at the FAST 2020 eTools Lab. If time permits, we encourage you to, to visit the eTools Lab to see the latest innovative products. In terms of the agenda for today's educational session, I'll first highlight what you can expect from this course. Following a brief introduction, I'll provide an overview of the IT Solutions Navigator tool, highlighting its purpose and key benefits. I will then turn it over to Mr. Bates, who will provide a live demo of the tool, highlighting specific features and capabilities available to support your acquisition needs. Throughout the demo, Bart will point out the vast array of IT and telecommunications products, services, and solutions available to help you achieve your mission requirements, along with the multiple pre-competed contracts available to save you time and money and facilitate your acquisitions. At the conclusion of the demo, I'll discuss the future development plans for the IT Solutions Navigator tool, which includes integrating expanded services and additional online resources. Finally, I'll discuss GSA's IT modernization efforts aimed to improve digital services overall to help connect you more intuitively and efficiently to support your mission requirements. What you can expect from this session in this educational session, you can expect to gain an understanding of GSA's IT Solutions Navigator tool and how it can assist you in selecting and using GSA contracts to support your IT solution needs. One primary objective is to help you attain familiarity with the key features and decision support capabilities embedded in the tool, along with GSA's customer support services and other online resources available to assist you with your acquisition needs. We have reserved time on the agenda for questions and answers. Therefore, we ask Respectfully, you hold off until the end of the session for any questions you may have regarding the IT Solutions Navigator tool. The IT Solutions Navigator tool is designed to assist you in evaluating GSA's portfolio of technology product services and solutions. The tool provides online acquisition support for conducting market research as well as selecting and utilizing GSA's contract vehicles available to support your IT solution needs. Overall, Navigator is intended to facilitate navigation, research, and awareness of GSA IT solutions during the acquisition planning phase. Within GSA's IT portfolio, there are currently over 40 separate contract vehicles with 580 distinct offerings. In addition, there is some degree of overlap in the products and services offered across the various GSA IT contracts. This often makes it difficult for you to differentiate among the offerings and choose a vehicle to meet your needs. The IT Solutions Navigator is aimed to help you make smarter choices by filtering through the available IT acquisition vehicles 
based on your specific technology solution needs and recommending an overall contract solution. IT Solutions Navigator complements GSA's acquisition gateway by connecting buyers to GSA resources, tools, and expanded decision support for IT acquisitions. The Gateway provides an online workspace for comparing government-wide solutions for various product service categories in one location. IT Solutions Navigator is available to federal, state, local, and tribal government organizations. The tool is public-facing, accessible on GSA's portal, and open to other agencies and organizations who are authorized to use GSA sources of supply and services. These specific organizations are outlined in GSA Administrative Order 48002L, as you see highlighted on the slide here. And several examples um, include the American National Red Cross, uh, the District of Columbia government is authorized to uh, utilize these sources of supply, as well as select academic universities, and non-federal firefighters authorized by the Forest Service. There are multiple other entities um, if you were interested in referencing that in the order. Those were just to provide you a couple examples. So what's in it for you? The IT Solutions Navigator tool streamlines the acquisition process by providing you an easy to use web-based portal to access and acquire GSA IT solutions. The tool is designed to provide you step-by-step -step guidance on selecting the best solutions from GSA's broad array of IT offerings. This in turn enables efficiencies uh, and cost savings. Additionally, if you're seeking assistance with your acquisition, you are provided real-time support through an integrated help desk operation and live chat capability that's administered by GSA's National Customer Service Center. In addition to advice and assistance from these GSA representatives, there are multiple online self-service resources available to assist you in aligning IT solutions to meet your specific mission needs. At this time, I'll now turn it over to Bart, who will provide a live demo of the IT Solutions Navigator tool. Bart will highlight key features and capabilities available within the tool to support your acquisition journey. And throughout the demo, Bart will point out the vast array of IT and telecommunication solutions available to assist you along with all of the multiple pre-competed contracts, which will ultimately save your agency time and money and streamline your acquisition process. Thank you, Lillian. And, and thank you all for attending today. We, we really do appreciate your interest in IT Solutions Navigator. Again, my name is Bart Bates and I work in technology governance and portfolio management in the information technology category and I'll be demonstrating IT Solutions Navigator today. As you can see, I'm displaying now the, the landing page for Solutions Navigator, which can be accessed via the, the link uh, navigator.gsa.gov or uh, through gsa.gov's website. Uh, you can also access uh, with your mobile device. We do have mobility capabilities as well. Uh, I'd like to highlight a few things here on the page. You see at the top a register sign in button. Now, uh, you don't have to register. You don't. You do not have to create an account to, to utilize Solutions Navigator. You can uh, access the, the tool, as I said, and, and define your requirements, make the selections um, based on your requirements, and, and then specify what your acquisition requirements are, and then you'll be presented um, the solutions that best meet your needs. However, if you do register and create a user account, you can save your searches and you can always go back and retrieve them um, as you see fit, maybe make adjustments and resubmit. As I scroll down, you'll see the Get Started Now button. It's very, again, simple to use tool. Another uh, way you can register. And then below, you'll see some self-service content. Um, where we can give you more help. You can reach out for customer support assistance. Uh, we have a section for 508 compliance, and uh, we also have a feedback button here I'd like to highlight, and we always welcome your input. Uh, we're always looking to make improvements that, that give you as the user 
um, you know, a, a, a very comfortable experience and uh, allows you to get to your result quickly. We have some site tools and there's e-tools as you see, acquisition gateway, GSA advantage and so on. If you choose to register, uh, you simply click on the link and you would go down uh, to new user and it will render a subsequent screen where you have some required content indicated with the red asterisks, first name, last name, government agency, email address, and phone number. And uh, there's some other useful content that you can apply to your profile. There's a couple statements here that you would acknowledge and then simply register. I have created an account um, for uh, the demonstration day and I'll log in just a moment. I want to go ahead and highlight the terms of service. As you see here, we ask you to acknowledge that, accept the terms, uh, and this is presented um, as a result of meeting policy and regulation requirements. Again, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. If you'll bear with me a moment, please. At which point when you sign in, the username or your first name that you applied in your registration will be presented at the top. Once you've logged in, you'll now have some other options. You, as I stated, you can go and view your saved searches. You can um, look at your profile, manage your password, and of course, sign out. One thing that I didn't mention um, prior to logging in was the forgot password, which is available to you under that register slash sign in tab. And uh, you can just click on that and it will uh, give you some instructions at which point it'll send you an email um, telling you how you can reset your password. So now I think it's time to get started. We'll go ahead and click the link and get started. The first thing we're going to ask of you is uh, your organization. It's very important as we go through the process uh, that, that we identify your, your government organization uh, simply due to some solutions are not um, available to, to all organizations. So we're gonna go ahead and start with federal or tribal government and then proceed to step two. As you see displayed here, we have eight categories. As you can see with the icons, cloud commu uh, computing services, communications and network and uh, hardware products and services, so on and so forth. For today's demonstration, we're going to choose cloud computing services. We feel that something is certainly uh, likely relevant uh, to most of you. Once you click on that category, it will bring up a subsequent screen which uh, has cloud computing services at the top at the parent level. And uh, we, we have uh, the additional offerings that are contained under cloud computing services. And then we'll take it to a, another level um, beyond that. Um, as you see at the top, we still are showing and displaying the eight categories, at which time if, if you so choose, you can, you can change your criteria at any point in time. Cloud implementation service is going to be where I'm going to drill down and show you uh, the content uh, contained under that. You'll see that there are five distinct offerings. And, and if you notice, anywhere you see a plus or minus, you are all likely fully aware that you can collapse and expand. I'm going to expand this. Now that we're down at the lowest tier, you'll see that we provide a definition. We give you a little more understanding of, um, of whatever that offering may be. I'm going to collapse it. We're going to go ahead and select integration consulting as part of our demonstration. And I'll now collapse implementation services. And we're going to choose infrastructure as a service. Again, I'll just display uh, the definition here. I'll select that. You'll notice that it's populating step two selections as I am making those selections. You can select up to five selections at this point, uh, but no more than five. Something I'd like to highlight here as well is the search features that are available in Solutions Navigator. We have a keyword search and dependent upon what you type in here, um, it will, uh, for each character you enter, if it finds a match, it's going to present it. If you noticed, 
Um, I got just CE, uh, and I've got 183 matches, but I am going to search for cellular because I want to add cellular PCS uh, to our criteria. And something to notice here is the green leaf that's high uh, positioned beside uh, that offering. That represents green IT. Um, this solution has met the requirements to be designated as a green IT solution. And if you'll notice up here at the top, show only green IT solutions is displayed with an on and off button. By default, it is turned off. And therefore, you're going to see everything that we offer. If I turn it on, you'll notice that the search results changed. I only now have three matches found, and, and they all have basically the green leaf indicating that they have met that criteria. I'm going to turn it back off now. It's a very robust search capability, and uh, I think you'll find it very useful. Oftentimes, you may just go to the, uh, the search feature instead of drilling down, uh, looking for the requirement or the, the need that you have. Let's go ahead and proceed to step three. Specify acquisition requirements and priorities. We're going to ask you a series of questions based on your previous choices, um, your organization, and certainly the category you've chosen. Uh, an example is if I had chosen hardware, you're going to be presented some questions that differ from what I have here for cloud implementation services. Dependent upon the selections you've made um, will ultimately result in the solutions that best meet your requirements. Um, everything is dependent upon what you provide here. Um, we hope that uh, we provide enough content for you to be able to make um, good decisions. If not, we give you an opportunity uh, to uh, kind of a catch all if you're not sure if there are no preference and you'll see that in a moment. Um, for place of performance, I'd like to highlight a couple of hyperlinks here that can provide you some additional information to help you make your choice. Uh, view map. When you click that, it will display um, the United States map with Alaska, and it'll break it out in regions. You can also see to the right of that a table of contents, which uh, is has a lot of information that will be of value to you. I just scroll down slowly, give you an opportunity to see that, and we'll we'll touch on this a little bit more later. As you can see, um, we displayed the map here. Um, we can just simply close that. It brought up a second window. Um, but if you wanted to drill down and look at the region's info, it'll take you directly to that information. For our demonstration today, we're going to select from the 48 states, CONUS. Renders a drop down where you can choose one or more. I'll close that. And now I'm going to add Hawaii and Pacific Rim for OCONUS. And you'll notice we have global coverage as an option as well. Next question level of assistance. As I stated earlier, I'm not sure can be a, an option or no preference as you go through the questions. If you're not sure, uh, certainly make that selection. Um, we have presented here self-managed, pre-award or post-award acquisition assistance, consulting services, uh, or full acquisition lifecycle assistance. I'm going to choose pre-award acquisition assistance, but before I go to the next question, I'd like to highlight the fact that we now have possible matches that are displayed. And you'll see 8A Stars 2, Alliant 2, Enterprise Infrastructure Solutions, ICE, IT Schedule 70, and BETS. Now, depending on how we answer these questions, we may see that those possible matches change. And an example is the level of assistance. Uh, due to the selection I made, IT Schedule 70 is no longer a possible match. Now, what is the objective? Are you seeking to utilize a cooperative agency agreement for services or comply with government mandates for cloud, for example, or data center consolidation? We give you three options here. Again, no preferences available to you. We're going to choose established or recommended by executive order or mandate. 
proceed to the next question. You'll notice that our possible matches have not changed. What contracts are you looking for? This is pretty straightforward as well. However, you may not know for sure. We're going to choose time and material and fixed price. Next question is period of performance. If you have a definite start date and end date, you would apply it here. If you have a reoccurring service with an indefinite end date, you would click the radio button here. Notice end date is grayed out, so it's not available for selection. If you don't have a period of performance in mind, uh, it's not necessary. You can just simply click, I'm not sure. Notice for the uh, date, I clicked in the start date field, which brought up a calendar. I'm going to just say May 1st, and we'll, we'll go through the calendar year to December 31st as our period of performance. Socioeconomic objectives. Many of you, if not all, will need to meet socioeconomic objectives um, as part of your procurement process. Depending upon the selections you make here will certainly uh, affect uh, the possible matches. I will provide an example. If you select small business and then proceed to the next question, you'll notice two of the contract vehicles that were possible matches have been removed. Uh, they do not meet uh, a small business socioeconomic factor. One thing you can always do if you make a mistake or you're uncertain and you want to go back, uh, you can toggle back and forth. So I'm going to go back to the previous question and I'm going to have no preference here. And then I'm going to move to the next question. I, I did not click that properly. Let's let's do that again. OK, um, just a little glitch there for a second. You'll notice that ICE and um, Alliant 2 have now been uh, retained. So we still have those four possible matches as part of our requirements. Now we ask you for the estimated dollar value. Uh, basically, we have the threshold here of 150K. Uh, and we're going to select equal to or greater than and proceed. And we have now answered the questions that brings us to our acquisition priorities. And you can drag and drop these four priorities to determine uh, top to bottom, what is your highest priority? Just simply move up and down. What is the highest importance uh, to your lowest importance? Notice we still have our four possible matches. And we are now ready to view our results. I'm gonna just scroll up and down a little bit and let you view this screen. You'll see that we have four possible matches, as was indicated as we went through the process. Uh, however, now they are presented in a manner that is a best fit or an alternate solution. A best fit indicates that this contract vehicle, Enterprise Infrastructure Solutions, can meet all of your requirements. An alternate solution uh, likely cannot meet all the all of the requirements that you've entered. However, it can meet many of your requirements. So we do present that as an option for you. If you need to adjust your requirements, you may find that uh, one of these contract vehicles may then uh, fall in line with being a best fit as well. Once you um, well, actually throughout the process, if you ever if you ever feel that you don't have understanding or if you go to our help tab and and you just can't seem to find an answer uh, you you always have a, an option to choose uh, to chat you can start an immediate chat session with the national customer service center and it is um, it is an immediate response and you can have a dialogue with a representative will hopefully answer your questions if it's something that can't be answered at that level uh, we do have tiered level support. Therefore, uh, your problem will be escalated to a higher level of support, and then you will be contacted, and, and hopefully you can find resolution quickly. I'd like to highlight here on this page, when we 
when we display the um, the contract vehicles that are available to you, uh, the best solution and alternate solutions, uh, you'll notice we have more content displayed in this table for each of those solutions. Uh, an example is, uh, does this vehicle offer green IT products and services? Does the vehicle allow for teaming arrangements? What's the number of vendors associated with that contract vehicle? What is the fee for using this vehicle? Contact information for each of them. You'll also notice that we provide uh, the National Customer Service Center or a direct line to um, um, technical support or, or whatever questions you may have around that contract vehicle for 8A Stars 2, Alliant 2. You can go directly to their office. Um, we also give you a direct link to um, the pages on gsa.gov for each of those contracts. As you notice, I clicked on the Enterprise Infrastructure Solutions link, which took me directly to their page where you can get um, additional information. I'll go ahead and close that and back to Navigator. I scroll down, uh, we give you a link to the Assisted Acquisition, acquisition Services with contact information again to the website and again the self-service content below another thing i'd like to highlight here is the best in class symbol that you see presented here for three of the four contract vehicles presented that just indicates that those contract vehicles have met the requirements to be designated as best in class I think most of you know what that implies and that you know that when you come and you utilize GSA contract vehicles um, designated as such that uh, they have met some some stringent qualifications to meet that. Alliant 2 uh, will likely also soon be best in class as well as many of our solutions are. I'd like to highlight the fact that you can now save the search. We ask that you certainly enter a name that is relevant. Ah, and here, here's an example. I have actually saved a search um, and I've already named it FAST 2020. And it wouldn't allow me to use that same name. Put in a description that gives you enough information to, uh, to retrieve your searches and you know what you're going for. All right. I save that search. If I view my save searches, you'll see I have three now. You'll notice a space between FAST 2020 and no space here, so it allowed me to create two. You can delete those searches. You can also print and download. It brings up your criteria, what you've entered gives you your contract matches, at which point in time you can click the print and download button. You can direct it to a printer or you can export it as a PDF or save it in Google Drive. All right, we are nearing the uh, conclusion of our demonstration. However, I would like to to highlight a couple other things and some of the some of the key aspects of of the application. Excuse me. Some of the current capabilities I'd like you to focus on are the step-by-step -step guidance on selecting the best contracts from, uh, well, the broad array of IT solution offerings at this time, and it's constantly expanding. Um, as as Lillian um, will be talking about, 2JIT and the, the Cloud Information Center, um, these will all be added uh, very soon to IT Solutions Navigator, along with uh, other offerings that we're looking at in FY20. Mobile access as well, something I mentioned before. Um, we also have very robust search features, filter by keyword, SANS, FSCs, PSCs, uh, green, green IT offerings as I displayed. 
Uh, it's a very simple, easy to use tool uh, with secure site registration. And again, real-time support with the National Customer Service Center. And um, again, with uh, tiered levels of support. We also provide uh, a multitude of links to information about contract vehicles, assisted services, as well as other services, such as ordering guidelines, GSAE tools, Section 508 assistance. I hope that you've enjoyed the demonstration and find the tool to be very easy to use and beneficial uh, to your procure procurement needs. I'd like to turn it back over to Lillian, who will discuss further uh, some of our future plans. And, uh, and then we will answer any questions you may have at, at the end. Thank you again for your time. And we do appreciate you coming today. Thank you, Mark. So I wanted to share uh, with, with you that there are a number of IT Solutions Navigator enhancements planned for release this year, uh, which will ultimately enable expanded solution offerings and online decision support to uh, help you with your acquisitions. Uh, we'll be providing access to a host of new contract solutions and resources. And I'm just going to highlight a few examples. Uh, first and foremost, the second generation IT or 2JIT blanket purchase agreement uh, will soon be available and it will provide access to commercial off-the-shelf hardware, software, and ancillary services. The 2JIT BPA was developed in partnership with the U.S. Air Force um, to replace the NetGents uh, two-contract solution. It will be available to all DOD, federal government, state, local, and tribal governments. So we're looking forward to partnering with you to help align uh, products, software, solutions that uh, your agency needs to support your mission operations. GSA has also enhanced the available cloud offerings to purchase cloud products and cloud-related professional services. We've launched a new cloud information center, which is now accessible through the IT Solutions Navigator tool, along with GSA's acquisition gateway. Um, it is being expanded to incorporate additional resources, but overall, the Cloud Information Center is designed to connect you with FedRAMP authorized cloud service providers, uh, best practices, and a host of other acquisition uh, resources, templates, um, and other uh, materials that are relevant to cloud your cloud planning, like security, specific technical capabilities and implementation services to help you transition to the cloud. So we're really excited about the launch of that uh, new center. And uh, we hope that that will provide you uh, multiple resources that you need to facilitate that transition as you plan accordingly to uh, migrate to the cloud. The IT Solutions Navigator tool also provides access to GSA's enterprise infrastructure solutions which serves as a one-stop shop for IT and telecommunications infrastructure modernization. Now we're still in the process of uh, transitioning customers off of the network's contracts to EIS, and that transition process will take a while. Uh, we do, will still give you access to uh, networks and the local service telecommunication agreements in the tool, but at a certain point, uh, all of the new offers will be uh, transitioned to EIS. But that new contract for uh, infrastructure modernization is, is accessible and we'll certainly be updating that uh, set of offerings as, as new emerging technologies evolve. Additionally, the IT Schedule 70 SIN offerings and corresponding NICS codes, as Bart uh, mentioned earlier, are going to be fully aligned to conform with the new single consolidated multiple word schedule. This is really going to help simplify the buying process for you, um, as well as our, our industry partners, and uh, streamline that overall acquisition and management process. Uh, BART also demoed that our tool identifies best-in-class acquisition solutions that were designated by OMB. And this will really help you take advantage of those pre-competed government contract solutions um, while optimizing the spend within the government-wide category management framework. Uh, finally, GSA plans to introduce several new enterprise-based uh, set of capabilities and managed services that will really help deliver 
efficiencies, cost savings, and it will have embedded uh, security to uh, enhance our, our cybersecurity uh, position government-wide. As a component of the federal marketplace strategy, GSA is working to improve its digital services overall uh, to ultimately connect you more efficiently to the various contract vehicles and resources that are available to fulfill your agency mission requirements. Uh, we're working on a broad digital experience modernization effort, and we, re we have heard you, we recognize that uh, the digital experience right now is uh, delivered through multiple overlapping tools and contracts, and this can be confusing and frustrating for you as part of that overall acquisition buying process. So we're really working hard to uh, modernize and improve the overall digital services to provide you a more consistent and seamless digital experience. Ultimately, we want to bring you to one central portal uh, to conduct all of your market research and facilitate your, your overall ordering needs as opposed to sending you to multiple tools. Uh, so we do anticipate that uh, there will be some initial capabilities that will be deployed and um, we encourage you to visit the eTools lab. We'll be discussing more about uh, the digital services initiative uh, during that lab. So as time permits, again, we encourage you to visit the eTools lab. Uh, we're really looking for volunteers to participate in some usability testing. We'd love to get your feedback on uh, the features that we've designed in the tool and also hear from you. What are some desired capabilities that you need to facilitate your acquisitions or to improve the overall ordering process? There's a central email box that you see here, federalmarketplace at gsa.gov. Uh, if you don't have time to visit the eTools lab, please, uh, we encourage you to send that feedback via the central email box. And we will have representatives that will reach out to you um, to coordinate those activities going forward. Um, we're providing this slide as a resource to you. It in provides an overview of all of the FAST IT solution offerings that are currently available in the, the Navigator tool. Uh, Bart went through a particular use case to highlight how the tool can be leveraged to align particular solutions to your IT needs. Um, but this gives you kind of a snapshot view of the eight categories that Bart referenced in the demo and how we've currently organized all of the product service and solution offerings around uh, the category framework that you see here. So please feel free to use that as a reference, um, but there are multiple tiers of offerings. If you click on uh, the cloud or communications network service category, for example, as highlighted in the demo, we see a secondary tier of offerings. Uh, you can drill down further to get access to even tertiary tier of, of services that would be available under that broad category of uh, offerings. So feel free to use that as a reference framework. And for additional information, uh, you may contact Bart Bates directly or myself. Uh, this slide highlights our phone number and our email address. Please feel free to reach out. We would love to receive your feedback on the training session today or answer any uh, program or technical related questions that you may have regarding the IT Solutions Navigator product. Um, so thank you very much for your participation. And at this time, we will open up the floor for questions and answers. This concludes our training session today. Thank you all. And we hope that you enjoy the remaining time at the FAST 2020 training conference.